We shouldn't be shocked on hearing the great news about how SpaceX Launch Tower is ready to operate in full scale. And you know what that means? Well, let me get it right. It means that the SpaceX Mechazilla arms will soon catch the Super Heavy booster in mid-air and place it on the launch stand before waiting for the second stage Starship to arrive from space, lift it from the ground with iron cables and place it on the Super Heavy, which will be steaming ready for another launch. This operation will be unmanned, meaning it'll be completely autonomous. Even though SpaceX only intends to test the mechanism, it will practically happen, and that pattern of launching rockets into space has never occurred in history. SpaceX is the first company to introduce it to the world. When we compare how long it takes to prepare a commercial aircraft after embarking on other previous trips to how long it takes the Starship to be ready for a relaunch, we can see that the Starship will travel faster than commercial aircrafts. The only drawback is that space travel will be quite expensive, and perhaps only the elites can afford it. In today's video, we'll discuss how SpaceX intends to test the newly installed Mechazilla catching arms, as well as its principle of operation with the Starship. This is Tech Space. If you're new here, we specially invite you to join many of our lovely fans. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. It motivates us, produce more fantastic content like this, and you'll have a lifetime access to all of our high-end tech videos. SpaceX will try to catch the largest ever flying object with robot chopsticks, Musk tweeted on August 2021. Success isn't guaranteed, but excitement is! Elon Musk is working extremely hard to make space travel and settling on Mars, which he is crushing on, a reality. He appears to have paid less attention to Tesla in recent years, instead focused on SpaceX and implement the best technology in vertical construction of the Starship and Launch Tower, while also manufacturing cost-effective Raptor engines in full scale. The Mechazilla Catcher is yet another incredible SpaceX victory tech concept, especially when Elon Musk dares to break history with his golden secret goal, known as the reusability of Starship. The catching arm is as complex as we could ever imagine, but we shouldn't be concerned because it will operate at a good precision by moving starships into space and automatically setting up any starship for relaunch. To perfect immediate reusability, Elon Musk must make the catching arm to function physically and not just theoretically, as he prepares to launch the most powerful rocket in history. This could help the company meet its most ambitious goals, like launching the same starship three times per day. And that means SpaceX will be closer to the goal of establishing a human base on Mars. The strong Starship launch tower's Mechazilla arms moved during mechanical testing, giving SpaceX engineers the most exciting Happy New Year gift. They returned to work at the Boca Chica launch site the day after New Year celebration to prepare for Starship's first orbital flight test. So you could say that they enjoyed their Christmas chicken and delicacies at the Starbase in Boca Chica, but these engineers are indeed hardworking. While we're relaxing and having fun on Christmas Eve, they were busy testing the Mechazilla catching arms and making sure it works perfectly. That is something we should applaud. The clamp-like arms, called Mechazilla by SpaceX founder Elon Musk, are designed to stack Starship atop the massive Super Heavy rocket as well as catch the launch vehicle shortly after propelling payload to orbit. Once fully stacked, the rocket ship stands 394 feet tall, and you won't be mistaken if you call it an epitome of status and liberty. The launch tower stands 469 feet tall and will be equipped with a 10-foot lightning rod. On January 2nd, around 10.30 p.m. Central Time, a Boca Chica resident, La Padre, shared a video of the robotic arms moving up and down. And guess what? He got the thrill he was looking for! The largest flying object ever designed, a Starship booster, will be snagged out of the sky by a launch tower. This is a huge step forward, as the relaunch can be completed in under an hour. The ideal scenario, in my opinion, is catching Starship in a horizontal glide with no landing burn, though this is a difficult task for the tower. The next best option is catching with a tower with emergency pad landing mode on the skirt but no legs, Musk said in his tweet because, as Musk suggested on August 13th last year, using the tower to catch the booster and ship eliminates the need for landing legs to support themselves as they return. Legs will only be required for landing mission on Mars or other planets until there is local infrastructure. It's worth noting that the Falcon 9 boosters used their legs to support themselves as they approach landing on the drone ships. SpaceX continued to flex the Mechazilla arms on Tuesday, January 4th, Teams working on the launch pad also have to work on the launch tower all day, according to local sources, in what appears to be a test of the giant chopstick-like arm mechanism. 
The crews even fully flexed the robotic claws by opening and closing them, and local photographers captured the moment the claws were fully opened, demonstrating that Elon's dreams are gradually becoming a reality. The robotic arm testing follows the fourth static firing of the prototype Starship SN20's six Raptor engines on December 29th. When the FAA completes the Boca Chica launch site environmental assessment and grants a launch license, which could happen as soon as March or April, SpaceX will conduct the first orbital flight. SpaceX has enough time to ensure that the launch tower functions properly. For now, imagine how the Mechazilla will look like when it stacks Starship SN20 atop Super Heavy Booster 4. Since the launch tower was not yet completed, SpaceX used a massive crane to stack up the Starship. This year, Musk voiced out that the company intends to conduct at least a dozen Starship flight tests in order to accelerate the development of the launch system. Concerning the primary operation of the Mechazilla catcher, it will also retract into a hooded enclosure at some point during the process, connecting Super Heavy to power, communications, and propellant supplies. Finally, about halfway up Starbase's launch tower, a massive swinging arm will retract a similar quick disconnect panel for Starship fueling, retract to claw-like support arms, and swing back for liftoff. Let's take a look at the redesigns that were made to Starship's body. The hooks or hard points on the Starship nose cone have been successfully attached, and cranes can easily extend iron cable to them and lift the Starship upward. The ground handling hardpoints were used for a procedure normally performed with the Mechazilla chopsticks in this case. These hooks are necessary whenever it needs to be held in the air for stability, as well as when it needs to be moved around. Engineers temporarily removed the hook to test the process and perform a static fire with the filler heat tiles attached. However, there is another set of hardpoints on Starships and Super Heavy Boosters. Hooks, also known as hardpoints, are used for ground handling and also grabbing a prototype all the way to the top because that is the most stable position for a lift. However, on a Starship, the Mechazilla hardpoints are located just below the forward flaps and it's perfectly placed in case any machinery attempts to take the Starship from above. SpaceX would need to build a crane system that can reach above and around those flaps. Be part of our space family if you're enjoying every bit of this video. Join us by clicking on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you can quickly view our next interesting content. You may be wondering how long SpaceX will use these ground handling hardpoints. The answer is, as long as starships are built vertically, ground handling hardpoints are required. It's clear that SpaceX intends to use vertical assembly as their preferred method of starship construction for ease of navigation and mobility of tools and equipment. In short, SpaceX is almost ready for two orbital flights, but the FAA has yet to approve them. Finally, this may be frustrating at first. SpaceX is clearly getting closer to launching as soon as the FAA raises their flag and gives them the go-ahead. Elon Musk may be praying fervently for this to happen. Musk stated that he would like to launch a Starship into orbit in the first month of this year, and they simply can't proceed because the FAA is taking too long to make a decision on whether they're allowed to or not. However, there is one bright aspect about it. SpaceX will take these waiting times to prepare to launch two orbital test missions as soon as the FAA gives the green light. So for now, SpaceX's destiny now lies on the shoulders of the FAA, and FAA may soon become SpaceX's nightmare, just as Merlin is to witches and evil darkness. Even though we believe that SpaceX Starship will land on the moon someday, do you think it's possible for SpaceX to land humans on Mars? Please do share your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, please like, share and subscribe and while you're still around, why don't you click on one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content.